I don't want to spend your time or waste your time for you to ask me uh, what went wrong and why went wrong. But for a chief executive to have caused this, this huge havoc to Hong Kong is unforgivable. It's just unforgivable. If I have a choice, the first thing is to quit. <laughs> Having made a deep apology, is to step down. So I, 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 uh, I make a plea to you for your forgiveness. I'll be very honest with you. It would be naive for me to uh, give a picture, a rosy picture, that things will be fine or I had a deadline. But I can assure you that um, Beijing does not have a deadline. They know this is will, will prolong. So uh, we have made special arrangements. There will be a 1st of October National Day celebrations, but still uh, having a lot of disruptions. So we are going for a modest but a solemn type of celebrations on the 1st of October, which means that uh, they and ourselves have no expectation that we could uh, clear up this thing before the 1st of October. Another thing I want to assure you that uh, is my own um, uh, feeling the pulse and through discussions, uh, CBG has absolutely no plan to send in the PLA. And nowadays, it's extremely difficult for me to go out. I have not been on the streets, not in the shopping malls, can't go to a hair salon, can't do anything. Because my whereabouts uh, will be spread around on the social media, the telegram, the Wong, and you could expect a big crowd of uh, black t-shirts and, and black masks, uh, young people waiting for me.